Let's loosen some of those tense muscles and disciplines about you. Let's heal and release.
If you've been having weird dreams lately, your body is detoxifying from heavy metals that have been given off. And we're going, giving off through um, the atmosphere, okay?
take a breath and hold for four, three, two, and one. Hold for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release for seven. Four, three, two, and one. <sighs> Just know that you did something so beautiful today. To get to this point in your process is a great gift and a tremendous amount of gratitude from me to you. Take it easy with yourself. Go forward in prosperity and ease. Ask yourself today treat yourself with love and kindness. Love yourself first. On shonen daikomio This is a timeless peace. We can always find our way back to Om. to wrap this session up with the Seiki symbol, which is an emotional key. Tap into your divine tools and move forward. And just for today, we will not worry. We will be kind. I will go forward in grace and treat myself with compassion I will be of service unto others. I will walk away from things that no longer serve me. I will love myself. I will go forth and surrender to all the abundance that awaits me, that is here in my sovereign being. Day. Thank you so much for watching. Hi everybody, welcome to Reiki Recovery Wellness. My name is Erica. Please like, subscribe, and share to support my channel.
And I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who is buying products and who donates to my channel. It really helps and <clears throat> I'm able to create more content with the love and support from all of you from our community. So we have Despair. Beautiful snow angel. Ooh, I should get the most. Sorry. <laughs> we have growth. And we have vision. Like you're starting to see the forest through the trees right now okay so purpose so realizing that this, this suffering is um, not in vain we have acceptance such a beautiful card I love those flowers so we have healing healing sacredness Just knowing that the fruits of your labor are paying off or are going to pay off, like, you know, the good will triumph and overpower. So, and we also have active addiction. So, um, so yeah. Okay. Let's see what I want okay. So, yeah, I'm feeling definitely a sense of. Mm, like I said, oh, uh, seeing the forest through the trees, really uncovering, you know, hidden parts within yourself. It's really uncomfortable right now. But overall, you know, a deep sense of um, ascension. So you're in a period where you're receiving, you're in a lot of ascension symptoms. <clears throat> and not easy it's not an easy place to be and that's why we're going to talk about it so we have patience for despair we have go confidently for hope we have muscle memory for growth ascension for vision I do feel like you're already on that path, though. So, good orderly direction for purpose. Relapse prevention for acceptance. So, maybe having some sort of spiritual awakening. Get out of your own way. For healing, and you're safe and secure here for active addiction. Okay, so all of that is really transformative energies. So we're gonna clarify with the tarot and get some love messages, get some angel guidance, and then close it off with a couple of cards from the universe. And if you are looking to book a personal Reiki session with me or a reading, that is in the bio. Um, so, and I do have these decks for sale. So we have the Knight of Cups, clarifying patience and despair here. So, yeah, in between two choices don't want to make the wrong decision you want to do the right thing you want to do the right thing for the people around you you're not really caring about yourself right now so spirit is saying to twist that into an opportunity look at is look at this from a new perspective um, with a new set of eyes 
Okay, you can do this through um, cleaning our side of the street, um, doing a spiritual detox. So um, I feel like you are practicing patience here. Like you're not really rushing into this decision. Um, you're trying to keep everything in order. Um, and you know that, I feel like deep down you know that pain is an illusion and even though you're feeling a lot of pain perhaps right now it's like I think you're moving past that into a you know a happier brighter future but it's really like getting through this segment of your life you know pain is temporary um, I do feel like good fortune is upon you you know the universe does have mercy for you you you've been through hellfire how hell, uh, high in hell water and if that resonates for you, then, you know, this message is for you, all right? Um, you know, like a phoenix rising from the ashes, you know, life, life is really challenging. And, um, you know, it was like, <laughs> you didn't fit into the cookie cutter like people wanted you to. And that's because your wisdom is really going to uh, uh, help people, not only help yourself, but it's going to allow the people around you to heal. Um, and I feel like, you know, this can be turned into a friendship if, you know, if it's like <clears throat> maybe you're in a relationship and you think it would be better if you were friends or, you know, maybe you want to become friends with someone. Um, I feel like you are moving into that, um, that area here. So we have... The devil okay so yeah and that's being clarified with hope with the with the angel <laughs> there's no angel with the devil so releasing toxic patterns and you're going forward confidently um, you know I feel like you have hope for um, hmm. yeah you, you do have the hope here to you know move forward and march to your own beat like I feel like yeah maybe you're just doing a lot of people pleasing but you know what the devil it's it's showing you that you know you, you're you're ready to move on from that you're clearing these old toxic cycles and your sovereignty is going to reign true um, you know the worst is over and it's like, I feel like maybe you're just um, doing a dance right now of um, not wanting to hurt people. <laughs> um, you know, face everything and rise. Okay, so it does suggest that fear is no match for you. Um, be your own motivation. I you might be a little bit um, in isolation mode, but I do think that you are growing on the inside. You're doing a lot of um, natural inner, natural work within. And it's, it's like a really good healing that I'm feeling. Um, so yeah, I mean, You're on the right path here. You're gonna make the right decisions and I feel like that's because spirit's gonna help you out. Like, spirit has mercy for you. Um, that's because you've been through it, you know. Um, we have the three of wands and that's clarifying growth and muscle memory here, okay? So, not wanting to face something, really shielding yourself from it, but you're feeling this undenia undeniable sensation to let go and move forward. And what I'm getting from spirit is to really tap into your life force energy, you know, and you can do that with um, deep breathing, um, get the chi going, um, you know, get into those Reiki, you know, I have tons of Reiki videos on here. Um, and it's going to really help. Um, content will be uncovered 
through study. So I feel like maybe you're you're really working hard, really studying, um, looking forward to a bright future, knowing you're safe and secure. Overall, I do feel like you know that is also a dusty area where you feel like, mm, I don't know. I think you know the magic isn't lost, no matter how you how much you feel it is. Okay, so um, a blockage is searching to be removed, okay? So, and I feel like that has to do with your life force, okay? So, tap into your sacral chakra, um, your base chakra, okay? And it's going to do a lot of connection, you know, um, with, all, with all areas, you know, just focus on the seven chakras. Um, but yeah, I feel like you're doing the dance and it's really going to help you move forward in a natural, organic cycle. And we have vision and that's being clarified by Ascension and the Page of Cups. So, um, let me see. I just wanna clarify the Page of Cups here. So you're being called to hmm. you're being called to be honest with yourself. I feel like there's something here that's really sacred. So the with the ascension card and vision, it's talking about, you know, Awakening, um, releasing some dormant energies after some, you know, energetic work. You're being called right here and right now. This is recovery. So essentially, like, doing the best you can for yourself. Like, love yourself first. But I'm also sensing that that luck is on your side. That you have you have a strong support system. Like there's someone here that really wants to see you succeed, that really loves you. Like I'm talking like some serious love. Um, this could be your mom, a relationship, um, but it also could be you know a relationship like um, you know husband or whatever or wife. Um, And you feel like you're working extremely hard right now. Hmm. Yeah, you're definitely being responsible, bringing home the bacon. Um, something's happening in the fall right now and it's asking you to take action within, maybe not necessarily externally because I think that a lot of things are going for you in the work sense, but with relationships, there's always different ways where we can excel in our relationships. Um, you know, and that could start off in the workplace because I do feel like you are pretty okay with that. So really um, talking to people, getting to know how to, you know, share with other people in a professional environment and then knowing when to, you know, make it a friendly, um, a friendly um, conversation. Um, I feel like it would be really helpful to be honest and be yourself. And I feel like they're in the throat in the throat region. Like it's been really hard for you to be who you are, and um, it's causing you know more. I don't want to say it's you know creating more karma, but. You know, allow your wisdom to show the shine through, okay? Because these layers are like really, you know, it's just creating more conflict. So there is a Reiki video on my channel. It's called um, 
some conscious visualization. So I do feel like you are a powerful manifester and you are a great um, candidate to um, better your conflict resolution. I do feel like you are a mediator, you are pretty easygoing, and um, you're stuck in between a rock and a hard spot, right? So, but I don't feel like it's as bad as you, you think it is. Um, so we have purpose, we have good orderly direction, and that is being clarified by the Eight of Cups here. So, um, so I do feel like you're not in a good spot right now. I do feel like the universe is going to pull you out, you know, of something that's no longer serving you, that's not healthy, but there's no need to rush the process because it's going to unfold as it should, you know. Um, I feel like um, we're pretty good about that. So we just really have to practice getting out of our own way, which is coming up here. Um, but yeah, the universe is just um, suggesting that, you know, happiness is is at the end of the road for you. Um, you will be able to, you know, enjoy life and sit on a rocking chair um, and s sip some sweet tea. Um, you know, and really enjoy the benefits of your recovery. And I feel like right now it's like really depressing and um, you feel like all hope is lost, but it's not. Um, it, the universe has crazy way of like serendipity. And like, um, I watched on Amazon Prime last night, the movie um, based off The Secret with Katie Holmes and um, essentially, it's just like really like expecting the best and really changing our attitudes and it's so hard especially um, if we're in a, a toxic environment um, within our home or you know if we um, you know are, are putting ourselves on the back burner so um, what I'm getting from the universe is you know tap into your wisdom because I feel like you are extremely wise you have so much love to give there's someone who loves you unconditionally um, and it creates a lot of emotion for you and that's okay you know just just sit with it but um, you do have something to celebrate and you have to celebrate your recovery and where you've been and where you're going um, truth is you're an amazing person and you've been through you know hellfire as I said and you're creating such a healthy strong future and it may not be the ideal future as you think but you know it is it's better than that and if that's the message that you, you need I feel like it's definitely definitely towards you. I, I definitely feel like yeah, a, a yard is in your future. If you don't have a yard, I feel like one is coming for you. And we have the Ace of Swords. Um, and that's being clarified with acceptance and relapse prevention. Okay. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> this when the reading first started it's back like back to basics um, you know the ace is such a great card and it, it's also letting me know that you know you're not one to be messed with <laughs> and um, you know you are headed towards a breakthrough so something is going to really confirm that with you um, you know you're moving forward into calmer waters something um, there's gonna be a transition happening um, and this is saying do not hesitate, you know, and, and it's being clarified with eight of sword, ace of swords. So, um, you know, really just be gentle and, and be loving, um, you know, be fruitful, um, all these things, you know, and that goes back to the idea of having that healthy mindset of a, of a healthy, um, attitude. Okay. Um. Even if you can't see see right now, like if you're if you're like really crossed at a crossroads, you're indecisive. Um, a great way to get out of your your own way is not necessarily overwork or distract yourself, but you know take some new time, paint, do something. You know, if it, it, like it's going to really um, help your um, embrace your creative side, um, you know, work on that brain atrophy. You know, start reading a book. You know, prevent f 
further health complications in the future. And we have the Nine of Cups here for healing. So I do feel like um, you're very protective right now. Very protective of your own state of being, your own state of health. Um, you know, and, and this is, that's a defense mechanism. So spirit is suggesting to um, really s refrain from the self-sabotage. You have nothing to be fearful of. And I feel like um, if, if, you know, beware, be mindful of, of that, um, that field, that, that energy you're giving off. Your soul is craving restoration uh, of oneself. Like you were doing well for so long and now it's like, you know, you, you haven't changed, but you know, it, the universe is meeting you halfway. And it's essentially saying, you know, you're a king, you're a queen, step into that power, okay? Um, living in our truth and authenticity is an ever learning journey. So, you know, you're never doing anything wrong. You know, this is just definitely a learning curve. But you are healing. You're you're working towards a brighter future, and that is a very strong message, message that I'm getting here. Regardless of you know being in this dissolution right now, um, being in this illusion and being disillusioned, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, so we have the Seven of Swords. And that is clarified by safe and secure and active addiction here. Okay, so um, I don't know if you're you're doing any sort of studies or work, but I'm definitely getting a message from spirit. You know, um, I think possibly if you started doing something going within um, with cl for clarification purposes, it's really going to help you out. Um, your sanity is being protected, so I feel like when it's saying that, it's also suggesting with the active addiction card here, people are really tempting you, tempting you to um, be who you are not. Um, you know, really asking you to come do the dance with them. And it's like, you don't want the same, you don't want that anymore. You're ready for something new. And it's suggesting that your pathway to inner peace is secure. Okay, and um, I do feel like you can expect the unexpected, like a miracle is at your doorstep, okay? And it's like, you know, look at right, it's right in front of you, you know, open up and look at the big picture here. Um, it's like, Something going on with money. Um, it's really your primary focus right now, work and money. Um, you know, but regardless, it's like you have good fortune in the workplace. So it's like you could literally live like that for the rest of your life. It's like get your head out of your ass. And, you know, the divine is really going to assist you with this. But it's like you have an intention, so really tap into it and see what it is because I'm getting messages from the universe that's saying that you do have a clear intention, but you may not know what it is, but the universe knows what it is, so definitely go in inward and do the work, okay? Um, so let's get some messages from the angels. We have yin, yang energies. So I will see yeah. yin, yang energies. We have new cycle. Spirituality. Divinity. Surrender. Destiny and hope fulfilled. Clear.
clarity. Okay. And karmic clearing. Okay. So. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. So I do feel like a deep transformation is happening. And um, there's something that is... Hmm. I think with this card, um, something's coming in for you. So call in your guides. Right now, I feel like if more time than ever, calling in your guides is going to help you. The universe will never disperse you more than you can handle. Recovery is the process of unconditional trust in the concealed. So I was just talking about that with my friend. And... Um, you know, it's also suggesting to, you know, not give up here. Um, you know, you will win. You will succeed. Um, you'll make it to the finish line. It's very slow and steady progress, but that's what we want. You know, being human, it's a very dense experience. Um, but that's a lot where the shadow work is being cleared. And, you know, you were, <laughs> yeah, there, there's someone here. There's someone here for you. Um, you know, it's the duality. It's it's the light. It's the dark. And um, you're 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 doing the spider thing. You're weaving in and out of it right now, okay. And you're discovering pieces of yourself that you maybe this would never have happened, um, but it is happening here, okay. And we have the uh, Knight of Wands um, clarifying um, new cycle. So going forward, really clearing clearing forth any toxic cycles and you're ready for a new cycle here which is perfect timing you know with the planetary alignments but you know um it's fast it's intense it's passionate and you know you got to keep grounding though um smile maybe start smiling more it's your aligning and you've kept growing through the pain which gave birth to this new segment of your life so you know whatever is coming forth towards you i feel like it's going to really bring you where you need to be. It's going to really give you that ultimate balance that you're looking for. Um, that <laughs> seems kind of chaotic right now. And we have the Eight of Pentacles clarified by spirituality. So don't be fearful of, of um, the fear that pops up. You know, that is uh, the inner work, the, the inner shadow work that we're tapping into here. Your higher self is asking you to connect and align with the will of the universe, okay? And I do see you doing that, you know, but it's really like stepping out of your comfort zone. You're not going to feel safe. You may feel scared and, um, you know, relinquish control, you know, give up the control here. I feel like um, that's really going to bring you where you need to be is, you know, releasing that control of like trying to you know, control your feelings, control your emotions, control, you know, money, control people around you, control the food that you are eating or control the person next to you in line. Your needs are being care your needs are being taken care of by working with higher consciousness. So that goes back to really calling in your guides, okay? Um So calling in your guides is really going to allow you to move forward in your in, in going inward. And with the divinity card here being clarified by four of swords, um, it's like you're you're nurturing something. You're nurturing, you know, that outcome that you're looking forward to, that um, overcoming, you know, the disdain and disappointment that you, you're around right now. There is no purpose in hiding in the shadows as there is no filter. You know, you're the light. You've reached this point in your recovery where it's like, and people can see right through you. Um, and it's important that we were, we're ourselves. So um, an audible sense of being, vibrational being. Um, you know, I'm just, I just, I just feel like, you know, the darkness that's coming to you can dispel that. And if you don't know how, you know, I would definitely recommend tapping into um, going within. <laughs> I keep saying going within, but Kali, the Indian um, 
goddess with her tongue out, you know, she or Lord Shiva, um, you know, can really dispel the darkness. And it's more of like that enlightenment waking process, you know, really um, clearing those neg negative thoughts, okay? And we have the Ten of Cups being clarified by surrender here. Um, and this is essentially like everything that you will have, you know, because ultimately you're a very romantic, loving person, um, you know, but right now it's, you're feeling, you're feeling out of control and it's really overcoming that fear. You know, you're not going to get burned or stunned by anything. Um, you know, people can't dangle, you know, things in front of you and say, if you do this, well, I'm going to punish you or do this, you know? It's just like, you know, that's that's an old way of being. And Spirit is suggesting that you may be doing too much right now. It may be too much thinking, overthinking, um, and release. And, you know, the task, release and let go of this task that you've outgrown, okay? Um... Thy will be done, not mine, okay? And I feel there's like equality here. Both of you are doing the work. Both of you are going inward. And if this involves another person, it's an unconditional love. And you're both coming towards one another by doing the inner work. And we have the five of swords, you know, with, um, with the destiny and hope fulfilled. So, um, you know, acknowledgement of this denial, you know, and really, you know, taking the reins and tapping into your honest to God truth, your sovereignty, okay? Moving forward with permission to live life in calibration of universal alignment. So appreciation of the journey, lessons learned, ultimate happiness. So you're moving forward from all the, like, the, the fighting, um, you know it's no longer serving you and you really want to step forth, you know, into, you know, who you actually are and you want to feel comfortable in your own skin. You want to be that ultimate provider, but you also want to, you want it to feel right. You know, you can't live a lie, essentially. Sorry, I dropped the cards here. So, but yeah, I, I, I am sensing like with this going on that the restoration is happening, okay? So I'm giving you permission. <laughs> it's okay. And you can do it. Um, with the King of Pentacles here, I think somebody asked me, you know, just tell me to do it. Um, clarity. Um, so the King of Pentacles is clarifying um, with the Clarity card. And um, I'm going to have to to really look into that further, but it says that you will be receiving enlightening news and this will help help nurture your goals. So whatever this is, it's like you can feel better about it and um, it's asking you to show up. You know, with the King of Pentacles here, he, he's shown up, um, he keeps coming, he's offering good faith, you know, and it's really like open-mindedness, open-mindedness and willingness to um, practice recovery and live in recovery here. Okay, so with the karmic clearing card, it's being clarified, you know, by um, two of pentacles here. All right, so I do feel like the karmic clearing is happening. You are working alongside someone, whether you know it or not. It could be a guide of yours, but you are releasing suppressed emotions that are feeling of not good enough. You know, I, I feel like there's been abuse that happened in your life growing up. Uh, maybe your parents were fighting all the time, but that's, you know, shadow work here and that doesn't have to be your story. And it's like you're wearing it as a pendant and you're wearing, it's like you're not wearing your heart on your sleeve, you're wearing a mask on your sleeve, okay? So you're, these are just growing pains, it's okay, out with the old and with the new. You're balancing the yin and yang energies. Um, in your energy center in the process, but you know, you're releasing these suppressed emotions and there's not really a how to guide. How can I be um, the person that I want my family to be happy with or you know, but We have to we have to it's not even a question. We have to do what's right for us because We don't want other people to you know I don't know if that's really the case like they there's they'll suffer on our part but essentially it's like 
you're not gonna screw up. As long as you do the next right thing, it's all a journey. It's all a learning curve, you know? And the universe is going to take you where you need to be. It's going to take you out of the places that you need to be. So we have the yang energies coming through. So headed in a solid direction, we have integrity. This is the lovers in recovery, everybody. Okay. We have a celebration. And we have gratitude. So just being happy where you've been. I feel like um, you're going to be able to make amends. You're going to be able to really make sense of you know what's happened in your life. And it's it's taking a lot of strength. Let's just say that. We have the magician clarifying the yang energy. So, you know, powerful, uh, deep transformation. You have to ground, ground, ground. Ground as much as you can. I, I, I ground as much as I can every single day. Permission to love wildly, playfulness. So this is everything that you want. And the yang energies are really, like, really dark, deep and romantic and strong. So tap into your spiritual wisdom here. Um, hmm. I, I, you do have everything going for you. It's like you have this undeniable freedom that it says, okay, so something good is coming in for you. I, it's like starry eyes, if that makes any sense. I'm not sure. So, um, I feel like you are doing the work here, though, to really um, clear the karma. And with the Page of Wands here, it's like you're moving forward. You're able to do. You, I feel like you're. You can essentially do several different things, and you can do it from a sense of security. Like you, you're not bluffing as you go. It's like you actually have some knowledge. You have um, responsibility and a good head on your shoulders and right now it's like you want to be further along maybe you're looking at others and saying why are they more successful than me you know but I do feel like you are protected and you are learning and you are an earth angel so um you know and also says we are only as sick as our secrets so maybe um with this card here showing it's like you can actually like enjoy a nice playful laugh you know and you don't have to be super paranoid about it. You don't have to be, you know, super stern about it. Like, joy is essential piece of our process in the spiritual journey. And for forgiveness, we have the five of pentacles here. It's like you really have love for someone. And it's like not really feeling good about it. And, and it's like, but I feel like it's more of something where it's like your body's ridden toxins, there's a little bit of catastrophe going on, you can't see the forest through the trees really, um, clouded judgment, but um, it's, it's all unfolding naturally. So you're breaking disassociation patterns, lost and found, the key to life, uh, freeing the ties that bind. So this person wants your mercy and understanding. So just know, you know, that um, you're not being left out, you know, you, you are so loved and there is so much forgiveness here and forgiveness really, you know, is the key to a healthy, healthy relationship, a healthy future. It's like, you know, constant, constant forgiveness and for spirituality. Okay, I just woke up. We have the two of swords. So your higher self is asking you to connect and align with the will of the universe. Relinquish control. Your needs are taken care of by working with higher consciousness here. And it's like your spirituality is there and you know it. And it's more or less like... It's 
it's like you really want the clarification you want the knowing you want that satisfaction you kind of want to eat you kind of you you want it all um, and it's a little bit of selfish that I'm getting here and um, that could be a lot of the shortcomings that could be part of the control you know so really you know taking initiative and trying to release being self um, doing that self-sabotage and you can do that by tapping into your pineal gland which is your third eye which can be activated um, quite simply, but it can bring up a lot of fear and um, distress, but I feel like you've been through it anyways. So with intimacy here, um, you know, um, this is just amazing. So open-mindedness, release, release of past um, hurts, your, your answer calls and really listen, your sacred sanctuary, fluid lovemaking, so, you know, you've been through hellfire and, um, you know, even though you really are having a difficult time, um, being not like, I feel like it's, it's like you're shut down. You aren't able to feel your emotions. You want to be the truthfully, like you really want to be magical and like love and just love and be loved and just be your natural self. Um, and you can do that. And I feel like you will do that, but it's really like, moving forward from, you know, that, that distress factor and, 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 um, being honest with yourself about really getting happy, you know, that, that's the key to success, that's the key to recovery here, um, so I feel like joy is coming in, you know, a helping hand is coming in here, they're not going to let you hang out much longer here, because there's a lot of compatibility, um, a lot of equal give and take here, um, as you come into your true being, people, places, and things that no longer serve you are vibrating out of your experience, but make sure you just do the work, you know, in order for that to happen, um, you know, but it's going to happen, and, and it's just, you know, by participating in your recovery here, because it's really, you know, distressing you and keeping you up at night, and this is all part of the journey here, um, but it's definitely like a meant-to-be um, process, and uh, this person really builds you up, they really um, encourage you, um, there's travel, follow through on plans, um, your heart knows the way, and listen to your inner GPS, it is, is vibrational alignment, so listening to your intuition is vibrational alignment, essentially, that's what it's saying, so um, just go with the natural flow of order, and I don't mean be submissive, but I also mean like really, you know, it's more of a practice of awareness, and it's, it's much more, it takes much more strength to do that than just belting out because, you know, um, wow, that's just unbelievable. It's like, this, this right here is just suggesting that, like, there's so much love to give here, um, a lot to celebrate, and it's like really, you know, t testing the waters of that attitude and just see what happens, you know, just go forward. Um, karmic lessons have been learned, so I feel like you've, you've had to deal with several mishaps and, you know, disappointments but you know, you are wise and you you really want that clarity. You really want that cut and dry um, type of way. And I feel like that is the, the key to harmony here. It's like, you really want to be happy. You really want to enjoy the future or you want to look forward to the future, I should say. And it is worth the wait, um, you know, because she, she, she has a lot of love to give and she is waving you forward. So if you're looking to come forth and, and you know, um, make some sort of, um, you know, attempt at something or whatever, or send your resume in or do something like that, it's definitely a good time. Um, there is balance here and, and a lot of nurturing love. We have gratitude, so a grateful heart will not use. Um, so universal love, the law of gratitude, law of attraction, gratitude improves relationship with self and others. So um, really just, you know, trusting your intuition, loving who you are, loving this person, place, or thing, because you know it is truly like, I feel like you're in a lot of aggression right now, and it's really like channeling that aggression into the ultimate truth of restoration and how it's going to prove yourself, improve, and, give, and make successful relationships around you, okay? There's great relief here, and I sense a drastic improvement in self-love, okay? So be better to yourself. Um, there's a completion here. This is a new cycle. You've done a lot of stuff going on. Okay, so I just want to see what the universe has for us here Real quick Right quick. I hope you guys like this reading I 
I don't know. I think the only one that, that I know of that has made recovery cards. So we have consciousness, we have projections, and we have isolation. So, you know, I'm just kind of making it up as I go, like essentially like how I should do these readings. So thank you for just bearing with me. Um, okay, so basically like we have um, consciousness, projections, and isolation. So you're marrying somebody um, and I said, there's, hmm. I do feel like just staying consistent, just staying consistent and, you know, working together. Um, both of you are doing the inner work. Um, you are doing the inner work. Um, I feel like you're just doing some very independent things right now. Um, so what am I getting from the universe here? Take one more card. I keep saying with someone, but it's like practicing that constant motivation here. So yeah, just like a new cycle and being protected. And she's doing a dance here and um, like a balance. It's a really cool card, actually, if you can see that. Um, but yeah, it's just really like stop fighting with your mind. You know, maybe you're thinking too much, so you know, stop thinking. It's really going to help this rebirth process that's already that's really already here because you know we're doing this and it's like letting us know what's actually present right now. So um, life is really crazy busy, and I know it's sometimes difficult to actually see a change in the rebirth process, but truthfully, it's right here, and you might be receiving the echo of it. So it's like that's why meditation is good because it really um, solidifies you in the present moment. So I really hope this reading was helpful. I love you all. Namaste.